To follow this tutorial, you will need to have Duet 2, Mac OS 10.6.7 or greater, and Logic 9. Open Logic and create a new session. Click on Preferences, Audio. Choose Duet USB 2.0 for your output and input device. For now, set the buffer to 128. For the best latency, you can set the buffer lower, but you may need to adjust the buffer higher depending on the size of the project you're working on. Make sure that Software Monitoring is selected. Click on Apply Changes and close the Preferences window. In Logic, you can also customize how the I.O. labels appear. Click on Options, Audio, I.O. Labels. If you select the labels under Provided by Driver, Duet's I.O. labels will show up in Logic's channel strip. User allows you to name the inputs and outputs anything you like with the exception of OUT1 and 2, which is always stereo output. Open Maestro 2 found in the Applications folder. Here you can select from the different Duet input choices. Plus 4 and minus 10 bypass Duet's mic preamp and is a direct line level connection to the A to D converter. Mic is for connecting a dynamic, ribbon, or condenser microphone to Duet's XLR breakout cable. If you are connecting a condenser microphone, you will also need to click on the 48 button to turn phantom power on. Instrument is for connecting a guitar, bass, or keyboard to the quarter-inch instrument input. Now, click on Output. In the Output section, you can select how you want to route Duet's four outputs, assigning them to the main or headphone outputs. After connecting your headphones or monitors to Duet, click on Logic's Record Enable button. You will now hear the input source you have plugged in. You are now ready to record.